If you are anything like me, then you love to decorate your quilty items with words, names, quotes, and sayings, but you might not necessarily like sewing down the letters. Today I'm going to show you using fabric paint, an easy alternative, rather than using fabric for your applique. Whenever I'm painting on fabric, I like to stabilize the fabric that I'm painting on with freezer paper. So today we're going to start by cutting off a piece of freezer paper that fits onto the back of the fabric that we're painting. So I'm just measuring over the size of my fabric and from my roll I'm going to cut a piece of freezer paper. This freezer paper has a dull side and a shiny side. So we're going to take the shiny side and just fuse that to the back side of our fabric with some heat from the iron. This is going to stabilize our fabric and keep it nice and flat while we're painting on it. And I think you'll find it a lot easier if you use the freezer paper on the back. The next thing I'm going to do is transfer my words onto my fabric using my light pad. I'm going to transfer the letters using a friction pen. So my tracing of these letters will actually disappear once we heat set everything in the end. So I'm just going to lay the words that I'm tracing on my light pad and you'll be able to see them right through the freezer paper and the fabric. Now keep in mind if you're using a darker fabric, you might have to brighten up your light pad so that you can see through it. Most of the times I'm able to see through most fabrics. I've even traced on black fabric before with this light pad. So I just go through and trace each one of the letters exactly where I want to paint this onto my fabric. Once we're done with the tracing, we're actually ready to start the fun part. <laughs> so we're going to bring over our supplies for our painting. And today I'm using, um, so here's my sheet. What's the freezer paper still on? Leave that on. Today I'm going to use some, just some parchment paper underneath of my fabric just to keep that paint from going through the fabric and the freezer paper on the back and today I'm actually using an acrylic paint with the deco art fabric medium now this has been one of my fav favorite fabric mediums and I've been using this fabric medium a lot you can use any kind of fabric medium that you have on hand just make sure to follow the directions for mixing uh, that are on the label because each one of them might be different. This one calls for equal parts of paint with the fabric medium. So we're just going to stir that until the color is completely uniform. And then you can use any one of your fav favorite types of crafting brushes and just paint right on your fabric and color in all of your tracing. Now you could, instead of using fabric paint, use fabric markers instead. This same method, stabilizing the fabric with the freezer paper, works exactly the same, keeps everything nice and flat and in place while you are coloring in your words. Now this is a great alternative for those of you who want to add the letters to your quilt, but you have a hard time either fussy cutting them out, which could take forever if you don't have a cutting machine, right? Or you have a hard time uh, sewing down these small, thinner letters, right? If free motion quilting or free motion stitching isn't your favorite thing to do, doing a satin stitch or a zigzag stitch would be really time consuming on these little letters, right? So maybe this is an alternative and, um, well, most of us are crafty anyway, right? Uh, most of us, not everybody, but a lot of us uh, have different mediums that we love to work with, right? Fabric isn't the only thing that we love to be creative with. So a lot of us have these crafting brushes and you might even have a, 
big supply of acrylic paints and you might already have some fabric medium <laughs> so this would be just um, a fun afternoon painting in these words and then guess what you don't have to sew them down or fussy cut them I am going to be uh, demonstrating how to put together this fridge quilt on Friday's live so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do that so you can hang out with me Friday and make this fridge quilt uh, live with me after you let it sit and uh, it's completely dry you'll want to heat set this now again check with your specific fabric medium that you're using for the heat pressing instructions but once you heat set it you'll actually notice that the paint becomes much softer and that's one of the things that I like about this deco fabric medium is that the paint actually softens up quite a bit and feels really nice to the touch and there you go once you have it all heat set you're ready to sew with it so here's my project and I've already made this little fridge quilt and one of the things that I noticed is that uh, after I quilted in my letters I noticed that the paint was a little bit translucent in some of the places which ordinarily I would probably leave it kind of gave it more like a homespun look like it was washed and worn but for this particular quilt after quilting it I decided to come back and do a second coat of paint which is always an option if you really want that bold uh, opaque color in your words right so I'm just coming back and uh, painting in those words and this is after it's been quilted you could even come back and touch it up with some fabric markers if you wanted to but you'll notice that uh, as I'm doing this the paint becomes much darker and more bold right so this is after it's been painted all the letters a second time and of course I'm going to come back and heat set that paint one more time you can wash this project after using the fabric medium which is fantastic uh, great way to add people's names to your quilts with the fabric paint right and it is safe to wash so I hope that if you have hesitated on doing projects that have these small little letters because you didn't want to mess with cutting them out of fabric or sewing them down I hope this gives you a creative solution for adding the words to your projects without worrying about all the sewing and the cutting and then you can make the same projects uh, but just in a different way all right everybody uh, I hope this inspires you to break out some paint and some fabric medium and uh, we'll see you really soon Bye.